You mentioned semiconductors. Do you think semis are going to come back very strongly between now and, let's say, year-end because of that supply-demand imbalance? Semiconductors are one of the things we like. And again, it goes back to this intersection. There are secular reasons to like semiconductors, the Internet of Things, the growth in cloud computing, all of this demands more and better semiconductors. At the same time, they're increasingly in a lot of very common products, notably autos. So again, if you have a view that the reopening trade is going to continue, if we're going to see more mobility, more spending, <clears throat> semis are one of the parts of technology that have that cyclical component. It's one of the places within tech we've been favoring. Hey, Russ, this is uh, Frank Collin. I want to dig a little bit deeper into that tech trade. We're seeing cybersecurity names. They're up big today. Names like Zscaler, yeah. uh, Fortinet. Do you see that continuing even after the headlines of this Microsoft Excel hack, uh, excuse me, Outlook hack, they go away? Does that trend continue? Absolutely. You know, we, we have a thematic basket in the portfolio. This is one of the themes that we've had in for, for some time now. And again, it's, it's a longer term theme. And look, we hope we're going to see more reopening. Many of us are going to go back to the office, but things are going to be different. We know there's going to be more work from home. We know there's going to be more remote. That's going to require better cybersecurity. If we think about places where companies are likely to increase their capital spending, I think cybersecurity is at the top of that list. Let's turn to what uh, you said. You've been trimming. You, you're still overweight in technology, but had been trimming over the past few months. Where has some of that money that hasn't been put opportunistically right. in tech, where has it gone? You know, it's really gone into what I call cyclical expressions. So that includes, in the, on the consumer side, housing, home-related names. On the materials side, uh, basic materials that are geared to a lot of those themes. Industrials, and the last one, which I think has been more of a recent trend, have been the financials. Uh, we have been taking up our exposure to banks, both in the U.S. and in Europe. That is partly a cyclical expression. It's also an expression of the fact that we don't think rates are going to you know, melt up to 3 or 4 percent. Rates are likely to normalize. The economy is doing well. Uh, real rates are still deeply negative. There's room for that to normalize. And if you're thinking about what are the expressions that are going to benefit from that, uh, the banks are certainly one of them. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.